Hi beauts, it is the Rare Beaut Reese. Mwah. I wanted to do a video about how I went bald in my 20s and how it is going today. If you don't know, I was diagnosed with alopecia back in 2017 and I kind of need a haircut right now so I'll try to show you guys what it looks like and hopefully if the camera focuses you guys can get a good idea. This is what I'm dealing with. Um, hopefully you can see that it's super thin in the middle edges are non-existent <laughs> yeah so that's what I'm dealing with let me go shave my head real quick and then I'll come back and finish the rest of the story okay I'm back I have some notes here I might look down just to make sure that I touch on everything that I want to touch on so back in 2017 I was diagnosed with alopecia I started noticing signs a little bit before then like I really want to say maybe 2015 like the end of 2015 I was just like hmm okay this could be something but I didn't pay too much mind um, I remember bringing it up to like my hairdresser at the time we just kind of figured that my hair was dry we didn't really pay too much attention to it fast forward to 2017 I was just like okay something is wrong and then I went and got an official diagnosis and it was CCCA I always struggle with the full name but anyway CCCA that's the alopecia that I have it's also known as scarring alopecia the hair follicles are destroyed there's no growing the hair back no matter what I mean I probably could do like a hair transplant but there's no like vitamins I can take or supplements or cast oil and all those things that does not work when the hair follicle itself is actually destroyed from what I'm told being in your 20s and being told that you have scarring alopecia and will likely one day go bald it was very it was a very difficult time for me I was super depressed I just kind of secluded myself from everything and everyone I just went MIA and I was you know depressed for those first few years I tried like almost everything other than like the needles in the head because there was no way I'm letting anyone inject a needle into my head so that was just out of the question I was like yeah okay this is this is bad this is really bad from 2017 to 2019 I would say I was just really depressed uh, wore kind of like updos and just wigs to hide it and prevent myself from really having to deal with it I had to just throw on a wig and go about my business I had still had to work still had to do school things like that so things needed to get done it was an extremely difficult time of my life I would not wish that on my worst enemy it was very very bad now fast forward two years later to 2019 that's when I kind of began my healing process my healing process I started to kind of open up and share what I was going through with my close friends and family well really first like my family and then eventually later on my friends I started to say okay this is the reality that I'm faced with I have alopecia I'm gonna be bald one day I just I, I had to start to get myself out of that depressed mood because it just wasn't healthy like I acknowledge my feelings but then just to dwell on that and be in that negative space it was it was a bad dark place so I didn't want to stay there so I started to begin my healing journey by talking to people surrounding myself with people that were supportive of me and that really loved me 2020 is when I was like I accepted it okay I was at my full acceptance I said you know what it is what it is like if I'm gonna be bald I'm gonna be the most beautiful fabulous bald person you have ever seen so I started that acceptance journey that was probably when I could finally do a sigh of relief and I was just like whew I was no longer depressed I was feeling way better about myself I eventually ended up shaving my head back in 2020 I started dating someone that was really supportive and really encouraged me to just shave my head I was at full full acceptance mode I was going out partying I was traveling the world bald I was just really 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 living it up living my life as a normal person with long luxurious hair it would be I was no longer like seeing my alopecia as like a disability or something that was going to negatively impact my life I'm just like yeah the prettiest ball girl okay yeah now fast forward to today in 2024 and here we are <laughs> and honestly it is going amazing for me so far I really can truly honestly say that I love myself I am proud of myself and I'm proud of the way I look I may look different than people than other people but I look 
good, okay? I've gotten married since then to the guy that I was dating. I've been sharing my stories with other people and people have been telling me how much it's helped them. So your girl is out here. Your girl's out here being fabulous, being bald. And I just started realizing that there are so many things other than hair that make me beautiful and make me special and important in this world. And I really just had to start tapping into those, those things. And once I did, it was just the best feeling ever it was the turning point in my whole journey so i highly recommend if you're going through that to hurry up and get to this phase because it's good you will love yourself i promise <laughs> so just to wrap this up if i had to give advice to anyone that is going through a similar journey whether you're dealing with hair loss due to alopecia or like chemo treatment or, or whatever the case may be here would be my advice number one learn to love you okay once i started highlighting and focusing on the things that made me special other than my physical appearance i fell so deeply and madly and irrevocably in love with myself. Number two, surround yourself with positive, supportive people. Weed out the negative Nancys and the naysayers and things like that and surround yourself with people that truly adore you, truly love you, people that you know you can count on at your lowest moment because trust me, this journey can take you to some low places if you allow it to. Having a support system is imperative, okay? It's imperative to overcoming such a journey such as this one so I highly recommend you do that number three come in close for this one okay come in close come in close people will talk about you regardless okay so once you accept that like you will be a lot better off people will talk about you if you have long hair short hair if you're skinny if you're a short person a tall person BBL natural like people will talk about you regardless you can't please people you can be the most beautiful woman in the world and still get cheated on you can be the most beautiful woman in the world and people will say oh her left ear is too big they'll talk regardless so once you just accept that you're just like oh whatever it starts to affect you less the more and more you accept that it starts to have less of an impact on you and you will literally stop caring I promise <laughs> so I always say like you can call me bald headed but what else i make sure i leave the house and i look fabulous my body is tea it's fit i'm healthy i have a good career beautiful skin like things like that show up and show out every day for yourself my next piece of advice is that if you need help reach out like reach out to your friend reach out to your sister your brother your family member and let them know what you're going through so that you can so that they can help lift you up like don't go through this alone there are so many other people out there that are going through this and that can relate something about sharing your journey and your experience with others that is really therapeutics also you never know who you can help by sharing your story because it might be that person that's like i feel alone I feel like I'm the only one that's going through this and no one else can relate and then they read your story or listen to your story and now they feel extremely better and they don't feel alone. Those are my tips and advice for anyone that is going through a similar journey. I hope this helps someone. I will definitely have more in-depth videos coming soon but yeah this is a story about how I went bald in my 20s and how I'm dealing with it.